you're hanging around the internet trying to learn as much as you can about the Mila Triflex HX1 Pro. I'm guessing here, but maybe your upright vacuum cleaner uh, is just way too heavy on your hands and shoulders and it's just killing you every time you vacuum. Maybe your central vacuum hose too long, too cumbersome to take up and down the stairs. Maybe your canister is not following you along the way it used to. Maybe you just decided to cut the cord. For whatever reason, your existing vacuum cleaner sucks and not the way it should. Whatever brought you here, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about these vacuums. As a matter of fact, we tested the heck out of them. And originally we thought, well, these are great vacuum cleaners for quick pickups around the kitchen table. Yeah, they're cordless, they're bagless, right? Easy, quick. Boy, were we wrong. Not only they would do that, obviously, they could do your whole house no matter what. Stick around, everything you need to know will tell you about, and maybe, just maybe, vacuuming doesn't have to be a chore anymore. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Rod. This is the Vacuum Warehouse and behind me is Mila's newest line of vacuum cleaners, the Mila Triflex HX1. Today we're going to specifically talk about the HX1 Pro, which is this model right here. This is their top of the line model, the HX1 Pro. It's available only in the infinite gray color. And the whole idea with this is it comes exactly with the same attachments and accessories plus an extra battery and an extra charger which you could use anytime so you always have one battery fully charged for use now here's the idea why, why this is how they're different runtime on these machines 60 minutes 60 minutes well 120 minutes but is this really Mila's newest line of vacuum cleaners when it comes to stick vacuums? It is not. As a matter of fact, Mila's been making stick vacuum cleaners since 1952. That's over 70 years ago. Now, keep that in mind. Stick vacuum cleaners, a battery operated bagless versions of, have been around since, I wanna say 2006. They've been around for over 15 years. Now. Get the 70 year experience Mila's got with making stick vacuum cleaners and them monitoring the market in the last 15 years because they've definitely taken their time to come up with this model. They've put all of that together and they've realized, well, as far as stick vacuums are concerned, this is pretty much the only thing you're gonna get, this configuration. Doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna get a machine that's battery operated and a bagless in this exact configuration, right? There's a couple of good things about this. It was easy to reach under stuff. It was really, really good to clean up quick messes quickly. All right, but there is a couple of issues with this type of configuration. One is, I can't drop it. No, I didn't mean to break a thousand dollar vacuum, but the other problem is what if I need to move things around and I can't make this stand anywhere on its own? Anywhere. Literally, or the only option I have is to lean it against the wall. So that's one issue. The second issue is these configurations tend to be heavy. As a matter of fact, this exact vacuum changes its weight by 50% from one configuration to another. I'll show you that in a second. The third was the fact that you have no option but to put it on its mounting charge, which is mounted on the wall. So you're putting screws under the wall. There is no other way to do it. So they've come up with a better idea. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I wanna show you a magic trick. This vacuum itself in a reach configuration weighs just over 4.5 pounds. As a matter of fact, I think the last time I tested it, it was just over 4.8 pounds. Can the same vacuum lose 50% of its weight in three moves? I wish I could do that. One, two, three. 
all we've done is we've transferred the weight down to the bottom. I would say 50% of the weight is gone in one shot. Where is it? Still the same vacuum cleaner, right? That is seven years worth of engineering, German engineering. As a matter of fact, these machines are made in Germany, in Milo's own factories. Now I have half the pressure on my hand and shoulders. And is it still reachable underneath stuff? Yeah, it lays flat, as a matter of fact. And what if I wanted to go get a cup of water? Do I need to lay it against anything? No. What if I just didn't want to put any holes in my walls? Well, can I charge it like that? Absolutely, okay. So the idea is this. This is not new. This configuration was, you know, the reach configuration is not a new idea. This by itself is not a new idea. But the fact that Amila has come up with a way for you to be able to choose which configuration works best for you, that's new. <laughs> Now, thanks to its modular design, there is a third configuration. The whole name of Triflex is three flexible configurations, and that would be the handheld configuration. So if you wanted to use it as a handheld, I should be able to do this in less than 10 seconds. Count. All right. Okay. I actually don't need any of this, but I am going to put this back. I know cost any time but that is perfect for any above surface area now this is going to be your couches your countertops the car would be a great example anything maybe it's a curtain You get the point, right? Let's try the HX1 Pro on a low pile carpet with some heavy dry rice. All right? And let's be generous. Now, first suction. This is the lowest suction setting is what I'm curious about. Now, watch this. Perfect. Now let's see how easy, nicely I can maneuver this. This is a low pile carpet. This is a commercial carpet. So for you experts out there who say, well, this is pretty low pile. I can get anything to clean this. Okay, you're right. Let's try thicker carpet. Now this is a rather thick white rug. All right. It does have some pile to it. So let's see how we do here. Okay. I would like to again try the low suction setting to begin with. This is really easy to use. This is really easy to maneuver. Keep in mind, I didn't even try the second suction setting yet. Let's try that. So uh, the only beef I have with the 
highest suction setting on a higher pile carpet is that it's a little too powerful so it becomes difficult to push uh, the machine around and back and forth. So I would say stick to the second uh, suction setting and you should be good on the higher pile carpets. One of the things I want to show you which I really like about this machine is how seamless the transition is from even a thicker pile carpet to bare floors without you having to do anything. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to touch a button. The machine is smart. That electro brush is smart enough to know which surface it's being used on and therefore it'll adjust itself accordingly and that's the speed of the brush. It just measures resistance really, that's all it does. Um, but watch this. This was extremely simple. I didn't touch anything. Uh, now again, very nice and easy as far as maneuverability is concerned. That twister neck. And back onto the carpets. It also ensures that it doesn't scratch your floors. Now that's vinyl, we've done laminate, even if you have really good quality hardwood floors, the uh, brush head here is sitting on top of four rubber, rubber wheels. Sitting on top of four rubber wheels. One, two, three, and four. So those are the only thing, the only uh, four points touching the floor and they're non-marking rubber. So no worries there either. Now we're going to discuss pet hair. Now if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpets, thick, soft carpets, and lots of pet hair to deal with, nobody can argue that a corded machine with an electric power head won't be better than this, obviously. Fine. Just to give you a quick idea of how this does, I'm again the second suction setting. It's, it's, it's good enough. I mean, can't complain. So far, you cannot help but be impressed with the Triflex HX1. Um, this one is the Pro model. Uh, now, one of, I don't want to say downside. Can the cup be bigger? It's a half a liter capacity. Yes, you can fill it, you know, you can fill it up and empty it out 10 times a day. Doesn't matter, you're not going out there to purchase bags. Could it a bit bigger? Yes, but the downside to that would be would be heavier. You are gathering more dirt and dust in there. So uh, keeping that in mind, I'd say you'd be just fine uh, with this particular size. As far as taking it out, all you do is twist this left anti or as it anti-clockwise, uh, and then you'd be taking the cup container from the machine. And then all you have to do is go full on. Uh, so anyways, putting this back on, uh, the lid you hold up, you go clockwise about that much, put this back on the place and then lock it in. And that should be all you have to do to dispose of the dirt. Uh, what they've done is, it's extremely simple to maintain this brush roll. There's a little button back here. Push it to the left and it allows you to open up that, which then gives you complete access to the brush roll. And that's all there is to it, really, nothing else. Uh, putting it back is extremely easy. All you have to do is make sure it's in here and that's it, really. There's really nothing much to do that. One of the first questions people would ask about a 
bagless, cordless vacuum cleaner, especially cordless, is well, how powerful is the battery and how long does it last? Now, I know you can't see this, but believe you me, we've been testing this thing for about four or five hours. And this is not the first cut because I'm just not that good. And I'm still on the same battery that we started with. That's impressive considering we've thrown quite a bunch of different stuff at it, okay? Um, however, the only part of this machine really that is not by Mila, uh, made by Mila is the battery, which is made by another German company called Varta. They've been around since, I think they were founded in 1887. And as far as history lessons go, you may be interested to know that the camera Neil Armstrong used in the moon landing had Varta batteries in there. They also have a joint venture with VW, the huge automaker, okay? So they've been around, they know their stuff, and they've been making these batteries specifically for Mila. That is, everything else is made by Mila themselves, and that is impressive, okay? So that's as far as the battery. As far as run times are concerned, I think I've said this again, I will say it again one more time. This is the HX1 Pro, that means it gives you up to 120 minutes runtime, and you get two batteries, two charging stations. So up to 120 minutes on low suction setting, no electro brush, and at the minimum of 34 minutes with the highest suction setting with the electro brush attached. Now, warranty, very important. The warranty that's offered on all the Triflexes is five years on everything, just like any other Mila vacuum, seven years on the motor, this is part and labor included, just like any other Milo vacuum, and two years on the battery. Now we ship these free of charge to all Canadian provinces, which kind of ties back into the warranty because you may not be located down the street from us. We sell a lot nationally. And so people wonder sometimes what happens if something breaks in the next five years? Well, how would I go about that? Unlike most retailers, bigger retail stores, that even if they wanted to, do not have the capability to service the vacuum or provide warranty works. We are a Mila warranty and service center. We have been so for the last 20 years. So if anything happens in the next five years where any of these parts, anything that you see outside the box needs changing, all you have to do is give us a call with your order number and we'll have one, the part, whatever it is, shipped out free of charge. What if there was a case where you had to get it done, uh, you had to take it in for service? The Mila warranty does, by the way, uh, is honored throughout the country. So any Mila service center can help you with that. But if you still wanted to come to us, which we would highly appreciate, you will send this back to us. We will take care of it for you, whatever service needs to be done, and we'll ship it back all free of charge to you. Okay, we do have an amazing website, uh, secured, so your information is safe when it comes to ordering online. If you have any questions, anything I've missed, uh, you can always call at 1-877-220-5656, which is our toll-free number. You can chat with us online or you can send us an email at sales at vacuumwarehouse.ca. The one last thing, my personal guarantee to you is your money back guarantee. And that means if you did purchase any of the Triflex models and you were not absolutely happy with it, in 30 days, no questions asked, send it back, we'll give you a full refund. Again, no problem. Buy one, you're gonna love it.